hard for you to listen to that and watch yeah, that. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous. A bit oh, it. don't be nervous. You're with friends here. You know that. How really? are you? How are you? <laughs> A few exceptions. <laughs> it's nice to see you laughing. <laughs> well, if you don't laugh, you cry, don't you? Which how, I probably will do, actually. How much have you been crying? Oh, every single night. Oh. Um, no, I'm getting better. I am getting better. I mean, if we're going to talk about George, you know, I love George to bits. I'm still madly in love with him. I'm still married to him. Um, but, you know, so sometimes things have got to come to an end, mm. you know, and... That, that, that's that, really. And is it, is it, as you know, you're still wearing your wedding ring? I am still wearing my wedding ring. Have you not seen how beautiful it is? Beautiful, yeah. <laughs> you. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep at least one of my rings. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm not ready to take them off yet. I'm just not ready. Mm. Um, as I say, I'm still madly in love with George, but we're no longer together. And do you see a day when you could be back together? You know, I haven't got a crystal ball. Um, oh. <laughs> I know. Listen, and the thing is, Kerry, I'll let you compose yourself for a bit. You know, the, the life you've had, we've all known, you know, when we've been on here so, lots of times and when you were a panellist and we talked about, you know, tough childhood you had, it wasn't easy growing up. And every time we see you, you always seem to want to really embrace marriage. You seem yeah. to like marriage. I love being married. I'm a sucker for wedding cakes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, as a child, you know, being the only child and not having a dad and being in foster homes and things, I think my main goal as a, as a child, more than being famous... <laughs> was, was that stability you were looking for? Yeah. And you still think you're looking for that? Yeah, it was to be married and mm. at least have one of the dads. Oh, and, uh, and listen, um, you know, the, the kids, you know, we, we know you're a great mum and you absolutely adore the even, children. I don't even like kids. <laughs> <laughs> But you love yours. <laughs> but you love yours. Kerry, I've seen you interviewed a lot, and you, you sometimes seem to blame yourself. Why? Saying I'm not much of a wife. What does that mean? No, I don't... I just think, well, look at look at my my record, really. You know, I, I am a fabulous... That doesn't, doesn't reflect on you. Well, I must have really bad taste. Um, I, I mean, I'm an amazing mum. Now, I won't let anybody ever knock me down for that. Mm. You know, I know I've made mistakes in the past, but my kids are so well looked after mm. and they're so well polite, they're so well mannered and very well educated. They don't even speak like me. You know, they talk ever so well. <laughs> People actually go, are they your kids, really? <laughs> uh, I just think the whole marriage thing, like I say, I'm not ready to take my ring off. Um, I've just always wanted to be a wife and a mum and, yeah. you know, like kids, tea's on the table, wait till your dad gets home, you'll get shouted at, mm. <laughs> you know, want, that kind of thing. I wanted to ask you, cos you're, um, Molly and Lily are now, what, 14 and 12? Yeah, come up for 13, Do you they? notice now, because they're sort of... Cos I've got daughters as mm. well, and when you have slightly older daughters in the house, mm. they start to look at you in a different way, don't they, when, with your relationships? Cos they're, when they're young, they yeah. don't really... They just think, oh, mum and dad are going to be together forever. Yeah. Do you, are you very aware of what your daughters are taking in? More so Molly and Lily, I've been absolutely and completely openly honest with my elder two children, you know, the yeah. past that I went through with, with the whole drug situation, which is dead and buried now. Um, I'd done a TV show called Coming Clean with Kerry Katona, and obviously my kids was getting a lot older, they had no idea about my drug past, and I sat them both down, I let them watch the show, and I said, ask me anything you want to, and they wow. both said to me, when the hell did all this happen? Mm. Wow. You know, yeah. how do you keep all the... Even though it was in all the media and everything, they did not have a clue. At one point, Lily said, are you a secret agent? <laughs> 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 you know, which I was really proud of and I've been very open and honest, don't forget, cos I am in the media, you know, they're, they're both in high school, you know, their friends will ask questions, but they're so very grown up and, and they're so... You know, they're really confident girls and they can handle themselves. How, how did you tell them that you were breaking up? How did you deal with that? Um, it wasn't a matter of telling them. They, you know, we're a family. They're not daft, they're not stupid. So you talk it through with them? Yeah, we, we spoke everything through. The, the... Molly especially is really grown up. Yeah, so and right? Lily as well. I mean, they're both highly intelligent girls. I actually do question myself whether I am their mum. <laughs> <laughs> and did they say, oh, you'll, you know, you'll be all right? They've been more. amazing. They, they've been absolutely amazing. They're, they're just really great kids, as are Max and Heidi as well, you know. Mm. They're just happy kids who go to school, play out on the front with the scooters. Mm. And, and you've you... got great mates as well. Yes, you've got really good Price, friends. obviously, has been sitting where 
-hmm. you are now rec yeah. quite recently. She's been very supportive to you. Yeah, she's, she's well, me and Kate have been friends for a very long time. And obviously she texts me. I had Junior at my house. Heidi was at Kate's house. Neither one of them wanted to go home. So I ended up having Junior for two days and Kate ended up having Heidi for <laughs> two days, which was great. You know, she's a really good friend, Kate. Very I think loyal. you're amazing. I think you're and, so and strong. Oh, How about too. your... Uh... <laughs> 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 Lonnie Joe, kid.